Hello and welcome to today's lesson. My name is Melissa and I will be conducting the lesson for today. I'm from South Africa, from a small town in the, on the coast called Port Elizabeth. Thank you so very, very much for attending the class today. Tian, Saha, and Irina, I will give you guys an opportunity to introduce yourself shortly. But firstly, I would just like to make a few reminders, a few announcements, basically. The first announcement is that you guys should please make sure that you have checked your sound settings before we start with the class so that we don't get interrupted during the lesson. So make sure that your um, microphones are working and that your speakers are working and that your volume is correct. It's not too loud and not too soft either. And then please uh, make sure that you please contribute as it is very important when I assess you at the end of the lesson. Please also raise your hands if you have any questions or if you would like to make any contributions. And the last and most important announcement is that you guys should make sure that you have fun in this lesson. Let us have fun while we learn. Thank you so much, Irina and Sa Saha, for remaining in this lesson. And I would like you guys to please introduce yourselves now. Tell me about yourselves and tell me where you are coming from. Irina? Hello, teacher. Uh, my name is Irina. I'm from Russia. Uh, I work in a uh, software development company. Teacher? Very, very much, Irina, for sharing that with us. And now I'd like to ask Saha to please introduce herself and tell us more about herself as well. Thank you very much for sharing that with us, Sahar. And now, we, today we are talking about what you do at work. What do you do at work? Oh, I'm very sorry about this. Let us just go straight. Thank you very much, so now, of <laughs> Sahar. All right, that was just a slight mistake. Thank you very, very much, guys, for your patience as um, uh, we're going on now to our first slide. And on this slide, we're trying to answer the question, do you use a computer at your job? Do you use a computer at your job? Now, do you use a cash register at your job? Which of the two do you use at your job, Irina? Do you use a cash register or a computer? Uh, I use a computer at my job. Thank you very much for sharing that with us, Irina. And uh, Sa Sahar, do you use a cash register at your job? All right, thank you very much. It seems as though most people use computers. Galina, which one of the two do you use at your job? Do you use a computer or a cash register? Very quiet. Galina, if you've got any kind of problem whatsoever, do let me know on the chat box. And if you feel that you just like to listen in the class and, um, and you feel that you will learn more by doing that, then feel free to do so. Just make sure that you raise your hand if you've got any questions. If any questions arises, pl arise, please raise your hand. All right. Now, Joanna, Joanna, could you please tell us which of the two you use, either a cash register or a computer at your job? I see Joanna is also quiet. Um, uh, Galina and Joanna, if you guys have any kind of problems, technical problems or whatsoever, please just let me know on the chat box, all right? Please let me know on the chat box. I will now continue with Irina and Sahar because they are the ones which communicate with me in this lesson. So moving right along. Um, do you know these words? 
make phone calls, a salesperson, write reports, go to meetings, manager and secretary. What I would like you to do now, Irina, is to give me the categories or the group that is that makes up jobs from the words that you're finding there um, above on the screen, on the top of the screen, rather. Irina? One group uh, make phone calls, uh, go to meetings, um, man manager or secretary. All Teacher? Right. Um, Irina? Yes, darling. Um, listen, how are you supposed to categorize these is according to their descriptions. There are jobs and there are duties, okay? Some of the words that you find there are jobs and some of them are duties. Now, what I want you to do is give me the ones which are jobs. They are people's jobs. And some of them are duties that are done at a job. You get me? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, group. Group. Um, ma manager and uh, secretary are jobs. Indeed, manager and secretary are jobs. I see Galina has her hand up. Galina, if you would you like to give us the second category, the duties? Would you like to give us the duties, please, Galina? Which of those are duties? Sahar, Sahar, please share with the class what duties you do at your job. Do you write reports? Do you answer phone calls? Do you go to meetings? What duties do you do at your job, Sahar? Thank you very, very much there, Sahar, for sharing your duties with us. Now, what equipment do you use? Irina, please share with the class what equipment you use at your job. Uh, I always use uh, uh, a computer at my job uh, and uh, often I use... I often use a uh, phone at my job. Great stuff. So you use computers and fill in forms at your job. Thank you very much, Irina, for sharing that with the class. So now we'll move on to our next slide. At your job, do you do these things? Either always, usually, sometimes, or never. So how often do you do these things? Let's start over. Talk to my manager. Please raise your hand if you do do these things at your job. Who talks to their manager? Raise your hand. Irina, please share with us how often you do these things. Irina? Irina, do share with us how often you talk to your manager at your job. How often do you talk to your manager? Uh, I never talk to my manager. Teacher? All right. Thank you so much, Irina. And now moving along. Um, who of us in the class write reports at their jobs? Who writes reports? Galina, I see your hand is up. So how often do you write reports at your job, Galina? How often? Um, thank you very much, Galina. Now moving right along to our next slide. Who goes to meetings at their jobs? Please, if you go to meetings, please raise your hand. Thank you very much, Irina. I see Irina and Gali Galina go to meetings. So, Irina, how often do you go to meetings? I rarely uh, go to meetings uh, at my job. All right, all right. Thank you very, very much for that answer there. And how about you, G um, Galina? How often do you go to meetings? Thank you very, very much. 
And next up is use computers. Do you use a computer at your job? Raise your hand if you use a computer at your job. Irina and Sahar. Sahar, Sahar how often do you use a computer at your job? Please repeat that, Sahar. I didn't get it. Please repeat that for me. Oh, you always use a computer. Thank you very, very much, Sahar, for your answer there. You speak very, very fast, Sahar. You must try and slow down a bit. Try and slow down. Irina, how often do you use a computer at your job? I always use uh, a computer at my job to teach them. Um, how about you, Galina? How often do you use a computer at your job? Me too, hey. I'm always using a computer at my job as well because I am an English teacher over the net. So in order for me to be able to work, I need to have a computer in front of me. Now moving right along, next up is make phone calls. Tell, raise your hand if you make phone calls at your job. Nobody makes any phone calls at their jobs in this class because I also don't make any phone calls. I don't make any phone calls at all whatsoever. Or oh, I see Irina perhaps may make phone calls. Irina, your hand is up. Um, are you going to tell us how often you make phone calls? Um, I usually make phone calls uh, one time in day. Once Teacher? a day, all right? It's once a day. You put that once a day. That's how to say that. Once a day. You um, now moving right along next up is use a cash register. How often do you use a cash register in at your job? How often do you use a cash register? Galina? Galina, please share with the class how often you use the cash register at your job. You never use a cash register, Galina. Thank you so much. How about you, Irina? I never use a cash re register at my job too. Thank you very, very much for that answer there. Now, um, compare your answers with your classmates. Now, if you look at um, the answers that we got, we found that we all use computers and they are all very, very important. Not that many of us make phone calls, not that many of us go to meetings. Even if you do go to meetings, you somehow don't you go to meetings as often as you use computers. So that is um, actually, that actually shows how dependent we all are on technology and specifically computers. Now we'll be moving on to our next slide. This is our final uh, slide for the day before our last slide, which is our summary. Now here we are playing guess the job with a friend, a bit of interaction. And we ha we I'll select two students. The one student will talk about the duties of the duties of a job, and then the second student is supposed to guess what job that is. Okay. So I will uh, give Galina. Oh yes, I will give Galina a chance to be student A. Talk about the talk about the duties of a job, and then Irina, you will be the second. It's student. Irina, you will be student B. So, um, Galina, please uh, describe a job for Galina. Describe a job for Irina, so that Irina can start guessing. This is such a fun game. Uh, I, th I think uh, you, you are manager or uh, chief of something uh, department. It's uh, correct. Right. Is that correct? 
Okay. Very difficult one. <laughs> that was a very, very difficult one. You know what we'll do now? Irina, you describe a job and duties for uh, Galena now. You describe a, j um, yeah. describe a job for Galena and then Galena, you'll get to guess. Go ahead, guys. Uh, I always use a computer uh, and I often make uh, phone calls. Um, I rarely uh, have uh, have meetings. I often do marketing plan for my job. Galina? That is correct, Irina. Is that a manager? Uh, it's uh, okay. I'm manager of uh, marketing department All of right. my company. Of your own company? All right, then. We'll give Sahar a chance as well. Who would like to be student B for Sahar? Who would like to guess whatever description Sahar is going to give? Who, who would like to guess what job uh, Sahar is describing? All right, I will have to... <laughs> oh, Sahar, you are such a bubbly person. Okay, Sahar, you can start describing and Irina will guess what job you are describing. Sahar, go ahead. I think uh, you are a sales person. Uh, Sahar? Very much, Sahar and Irina. Now, Galina, I would like you to describe the duties of a particular job and then Sahar will guess what job you were talking about. Galina, please go ahead. Please go on and describe whatever job you would like Sahar to start guessing about. So Sahar, would you like to start guessing what that job is? Right then guys, we'll now move on to our next slide. Sahar, you were supposed to be guessing the description that Galina just gave you. That is what you were supposed to be doing, Sahar. But we'll now move on to our next slide, um, where we are asking our classmates a few questions. Do you write reports at your job, Galina? Thank you very, very much, Kalina, for your answer there. Now, Irina, do you use the phone at your job? Do you use the phone at your job? Uh, uh, yes, teacher, I often use the phone at my job. All right, great stuff. And how about you, Sahar? Do you usually use a computer at your job? All right, thank you very much very much guys for all your contributions and participation in this class you really made this class a lot of fun for me I really enjoyed this lesson now if you have any questions please raise your hand I will now release these slides of course I will now release these slides but guys please remember we finished early so that you guys can talk to each other and get to know each other better in the class really apologize I'm, 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 I, some, I'm somehow having technical problems now so guys yes, yes we do only have seven slides for today's lesson I'm very sorry about that it's because most of the students had complained that there is not enough time to communicate between that the students so we have given some time so that the students can communicate with each other get to know each other and get to speak the language with other people which are also learning to speak the language well that that is the reason why but I could always forward um, your complaint if uh, if you would like to file a complaint so yeah Sa Sahar all right Sahar. <laughs> oh Sahar you have got 
you have got a very interesting sense of humor there. Um, it's really, um, you guys can just communicate with each other now um, until time is up. I do hope to meet you again, Sahar, in another lesson. Thank you very much, Kalina, Irina, and Sahar, for such a wonderful lesson. I would like to wish you guys all the best for your future English studies and I would like to encourage you guys to please read as much English as you can, speak English as you can, as much as you can and obviously we have now created grounds for you guys to communicate and speak English so that you can tell what levels you are on. And also lastly, you need to make sure that you listen to as much English as you possibly can. Maybe um, watching English movies or watching um, or listening to English radio stations can also help you in that regard. Thank you very much, guys. Until next time, which I do hope will be soon. Do keep well. Goodbye.